Hey everyone, the last couple of days at Westminster have been a mess, certainly far worse than anything I've ever seen and I'm in the process of toilet training a three year old, but let's try to simplify and lay out the process of how we got to where we are. Part 1. MPs don't want Brexit to happen even though the public do and many of those MPs were explicitly elected promising to deliver it. As an analogy, this is a bit like me promising to buy kitchen roll from the corner shop, then spending all the money on wine and later refusing to tidy up a spilled glass of wine rather than admit that I don't want to buy kitchen roll. Part 2. This would normally be resolved by an election. The Brexit thing, not the wine thing. Except that MPs will lose their jobs, many are actively being deselected by the local constituencies. And now that Boris Johnson is in power, everyone knows that all they can really do is try to delay Brexit as long as they can. It's like watching desperate football supporters calculating how their team can still technically qualify for Europe. I guess in this scenario, the constituents live in a small town up north and don't really care because the MP supports a different team to them. Probably Chelsea in this scenario, it's a London team after all, and come on, only one win all season? Part 3. The upcoming election, when it does come, will comprehensively destroy the Labour Party, with the majority of its votes going to either the Brexit Party or the Lib Dems, depending on where they're located. It'll be an English repeat of what happened after the Scottish referendum changed that political landscape from right versus left to right versus wrong, as the whole thing transformed overnight into a religious-style crusade for vengeance, with a show of Scottish anger that hadn't been seen since that time at Gordon Brown threw a laser printer across the room, allegedly. Part 4. What happens next will be determined by who plays the system better. The thing about an unwritten constitution is that it's not written down. The bill supposedly forcing Boris to ask for an extension to Article 50 might get lost or amended into uselessness to her in committee. Maybe Boris will forget to ask the Queen to sign off on the bill. Perhaps the EU won't want an extension anyway. And don't forget that it's also possible for the member states to veto that decision. I think I'm actually right in saying that as a member state, Britain itself could veto it, which would frankly be hilarious watching Boris signing the veto and once more calling for an election while the Facebook servers caught fire. What is certain is that most MPs pushing for Remain seem to believe that it's a temporary thing or one where they're on the popular side, utterly failing to grasp both public sentiment outside of Westminster as well as a vast swell of resentment at the building up outside of London. Oh well. Anyway, so here's a joke to lighten the mood back up, I guess. Vincent van Gogh is sitting in a bar and Picasso walks in. Do you fancy a drink, Vincent? No, I've got one here. Anyway, see you next week. If you like these, please subscribe.